We've just finished Friday night of round two of the ARB Extreme Winch Challenge Series and what a night it was. There was some great driving, great crowd action, some a little bit too lively. Friday night stage is comprised of SS1, which is a two and a half kilometre sprint stage with a loop area. That was real well received by the drivers, even the locals. They didn't know where they were going because I'd added in a lot of stuff that they hadn't added in before. SS's two and three were runs up a creek, slight jump up along the creek, and then they, they both had to do a winch wall side by side. SS2, now that was the corker of the night. We had two vehicles drive, Rob Marshall, and Glenn Brotherton, and Glenn's a local here in central Queensland, and we had Riley Lee from Billa Wheeler, again inland central Queensland, was the only one who managed to roll his car on that, but he was up and running again for Saturday morning and still enjoying it. Great night. Overall, we've still got 31 cars running. Russell Mason's motor blew up on the way in, so we lost him, but we're back to 31 cars running going into Saturday. Stages we've got planned for Saturday are in completely new areas than what we used last year. We've got a GPS stage included in one of the SS, so the drivers won't know what they're expecting. Even the local contingent do not know what they're going to have to be doing on Saturday. They think we're going back to the same areas, but we're not. We've opened up all new areas, so it's going to be very interesting over the day. Today we've got Plan 5 SS. The SS are a lot different than previous, a lot of longer stages, and we've got some very deep water that the co-drivers will like. They have to get their ground anchors off and in the water and then winch up the hill, but the stages are long, there's some tricky winching, and they're going to have fun out there, so hopefully at the end of Saturday we'll still have 31 cars running. Saturday night's a night off, and then they've got two extremely tough stages on Sunday before the presentation dinner Sunday night. Let's see what happens at the end of Saturday afternoon to see who's still standing.